Hey, badass business owners, it's Tammy. I got something important that I want to talk about and I want to show my emotion for this because I think it's very important. And that has to do with the stinking thinking that some of you are letting in to your heads and it's preventing you from being as successful in your business as you could possibly be. I talk to small business owners all the time on a regular basis. I talk to them in person. I talk to them on the phone when I'm coaching. I talk to them in a lot of different ways. And one of the challenges that I find with a lot of people is they want to tell me about everything that's bad in their business. And when I start talking to them about their business, it's always woe is me and this is happening or my competitors doing this and whatnot. Now it's not everybody, but it is a big enough group of people that it's worth having this dialogue. Because what happens is you're very passionate about your business. And because you're passionate of your business, you just want it to be successful. The problem is you're so focused on everything that's going wrong and what's not working and what people are doing and how the world is doing it to you that you don't realize that you're doing it to you. You're the one that's doing it because you're the one that keeps telling yourself about all these bad things that are happening. Listen, life is not easy. I don't know about you, but life has never been easy. And you run into problems in your everyday life. What makes you think you're not gonna run into problems in your business? all the time, but it's about what you do with those obstacles. Remember, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you deal with it. Well, your business is no different. You're gonna have competitors doing stupid ass things. You're gonna have some clients and customers that do some really dumb things. You're gonna have obstacles in your way. When you first started your business, you had obstacles. Today, you don't even think about those obstacles because you've already figured out how to resolve them and how to work them. So your business is like a staircase, okay? And every time we get go to that next level, we have more issues, more things that we have to deal with. And I understand that you wanna have this amazing business making all of this money. And when you're not making all, this, all the sales that you want or all the money that you want, you wanna blame someone else. The problem is you need to blame the person in the mirror. That's right, it's you. All right. Now that doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something wrong. It just means that there's opportunities out there for you to be able to address and for you to be able to work on. You've got to stop blaming everybody else for what's going on in your business. There is a business owner I work with on a regular basis, for example. I know how passionate he is about his business. He's built an amazing business. He changed careers and he's been building it and building it and building it. And it's it's doing fantastic. But talking to him, you would think that the world was caving in and the business was horrible and all these things were happening. And the reality is I it's because he cares that he only sees the negative. And the problem is he'll bypass three or four things that are positive and going right that I have to yank him back and say, well, what about this? Well, what about this? Well, yeah, but he's not the only one. So don't think it's just him. It's not. Because like I said, I have been coaching and, and, and talking to people about their businesses for many years. And I can tell you that a lot of times when somebody is that passionate about their business, they're also just as passionate about what's going wrong and how they can fix it. And they want to focus on the negative versus the positive. And the problem is you've got to be able to see when the good is happening. So that way you can do more of it so that you can pat yourself on the back. Now I'm not telling you to pat yourself on the back for days on end, but take a breather, take five minutes, 10 minutes, and celebrate your successes. Because if you take the time to celebrate your successes, you can see the bad things for what they really are. They're obstacles, they're speed bumps, they're whatever. They're just roadblocks you need to work yourself around. They're, they're, they're problems waiting for a solution. And when you see everything from a negative, you don't come at the problem solution oriented. You don't, you just see it as a problem, a problem. It's a big rock that you just see in front of you instead of sitting back going, well, dang, that's a rock. I, I probably should figure out a way to get around that rock. And that's really what you want to do is you want to figure out how do I get around the rock, not focus on the fact that there's a rock right in front of you. Because if you only focus on the rock, that's all you can see. You don't see the fact that there's light around the rock. You don't see that there might be a path around the rock. You might not see that there's some lighter stone that maybe you can break through the rock. You might not see a pair of shoes and climbing gear to get over the rock. All you see is the rock. You're this close to it. It's right in your face and that's all you see. So I just need you to stop being negative on everything that happens in your business. Please, if you find yourself being overly negative, Find someone you care about, a mentor, someone, a business owner, a family member, somebody to tell you, have a code word for all I care, but you need to make sure that you're not letting that stinking thinking creep in and, and hurt you from growing and developing your business, from seeing the opportunities that you have in your business. Quit seeing all the negative that's out there. And by the way, if you're not passionate about your business and you don't care about it, you need to get out. 
you need to go get a job, you need to find another business, whatever the case may be. But most of the people that I find that are negative about their business, they love their business. They're passionate about their business and they wanna make a difference in their business. And I think that that's you as well. All right, now with that, I want you to get out there, stop being negative, make a difference, and I will talk to you on the next video.